What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm going to paint my vinyl seat in from my 66 Mustang so it looks like the seat that I'd already done. And we're gonna do it using the Duplicolor vinyl and fabric spray paint. Uh, I was a little skeptical on doing some of this stuff at first. I was afraid of it rubbing off on my clothes or it just kind of looking like I was kind of do a cheap way of doing something. And in a way, it still kind of is a cheap way, but I mean, this, this can was 12 bucks. Uh, but it's a good way to kind of buy me some time on these seats until I figure out what I want to do with seats for my car. I'm not a big fan of this cream color. I mean, you can tell my car is white and these cream colored seats don't, they kind of clash with the car. So I think making them black is a good way to just kind of buy me some time. I'd like to do something different with the seats down the road, but in the meantime, painting them black makes it look a lot better. And I think we're going to be able to be successful with both seats. On this seat here on the passenger seat, uh, what I did is I took it apart and I used some isopropyl alcohol and I just wiped down the seat and got it all nice and clean. And uh, from there, then you can mask off the areas that you need to paint and then paint the seat. It's just really that simple. I'll show you that when we do it on, on my other seat over here. I did do this seat, the passenger seat first, because I wanted to just make sure that I knew what I was doing. And if I messed up on anything, I wouldn't mess up on the driver's seat where I, I'm going to be in that seat a little bit more. <laughs> so I want that one to be the better seat. So I went ahead and did that. Everything came out great. I mean, from the, especially in the camera, it looks like it was a black seat from the factory, not this cream and black panda color seat that we got going on over here. So let's go ahead and get this seat taken apart and then I'll show you what we need to do to get this seat prepped. Now, if you're gonna do this on a different seat from a different car, obviously the taking your seat apart is gonna be done a little bit different. But for those that have the early Mustangs, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna remove this trim piece and then there's a cotter pin on the pin where this pivot point is, then we'll go to the other side, take the cover piece off over there and pull that cotter pin and then we can pull this back off. And we're gonna wanna pry up on the long bar here because it's easier than to pry up on the short bar. Be careful not to damage the vinyl on your seat like I just did right there. Now you want to take your isopropyl alcohol and just put it on a, on a blue shop towel or something in you know, a rag like this. And then you're going to just use it to clean the surface that you want to paint. You're going to want to make sure you do a really good job cleaning the surface, get all the dirt off there, get the oils off there, because you don't want the paint to stick to the dirt, you want it to stick to the vinyl of the seat. And we're gonna wanna do the same thing for the lower half. And once you're done and you're happy with how clean the seat is, we're gonna to wanna to get the masking tape out and we're gonna tape off the areas that we don't wanna paint. I'm just gonna go ahead and just lay a strip down and what I'm gonna do here, because I'm painting the seats black and these edges are black already, I'm just gonna put it on the edge of the piping here that runs along the seat between the black and the white there, or the black and the cream. And that way, if I get any paint on the piping itself, it's not gonna be the end of the world because it's already black. But I don't wanna just not mask it because I don't wanna have you know spray paint on this part. There. Now this seat is taped up and good to go. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way and do the bottom. And on this one, it does wrap around the front here, so you're gonna have to be careful and just make sure you mask everything off that you need to. There, now the last thing that we wanna do is I'm gonna just put a bag over this handle I don't need to take the seat tracks off for this particular job. You might on your seats, depending on what you're doing, but if I just put a bag over this and tape it off, then I can spray around it and we'll be all right. Okay, the trick to doing this is lots of light coats. Uh, we're not in a hurry here. This isn't a race, this is a marathon, right? So we'll just do lots of light coats and work our way up. All right, we'll let that sit for a few minutes then we'll come back and do another coat. 
All right, time for the next coat. This part's a little tricky underneath here, but we don't need to get underneath on the bottom here that, that good. Just some light coats. All right, that takes care of the second coat. We'll let that sit and we'll come back and do a third. All right, we're putting the next coat on. I mean, again, it doesn't look like you're putting much on each time, but that's okay because you just don't want to do light coats because what we don't, we don't want is a buildup of paint where it's wet and it takes longer for it to cure and it looks bad. So just sneak up on it is all you need to do. Kind of like that. See how it's a little heavy right there? I got a little carried away and it's gonna be fine, but try to avoid that kind of stuff if you can. All right guys, that was my fifth coat. Uh, you want to make sure that you get downside the edges here with the paint um, because as you squish the seat down, you're going to find that the vinyl is going to pull a bit from the other vinyl and you might find that you get a little bit of color trace kind of on the edges. So just be mindful of that. Also, you may notice this particular one, this is a, a matte color. It's not a gloss or anything. So it was meant to go with kind of the faded vinyl of my seat. So it should be all right. But you may find that there are plot splotches of shinier spots and more you know matte spots than others and i don't know if that's because they didn't do a good enough job cleaning the vinyl or maybe the vinyl is just worn more in those spots and it's the way the paint is adhering to it and it's just showing that but in the end i think this looks fantastic let's go ahead and pull the tape off So from here, we're just going to go ahead and put the seats back together and then we'll be done. All right. Now what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to let the seat just sit here in the garage overnight and just let this paint fully cure up. Um, it's dry. It's fine now. I mean, you can sit on it. It's been, a, it's been a half an hour. It says it's dry to the touch after half an hour and it's been dry for a while. So I'm just going to let it sit overnight. Just let the, the paint do its thing. And then I'm going to put them in the car in the morning. So guys, that's it. That's how you paint your, your seats, your vinyl seats. I think it looks great. I mean, in the camera, this color and this color look the same. And not in the camera, not in real life, it looks the same. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out, guys. I think this is gonna be a great temporary fix for what I wanna do. I was told this will last several years. I'm not gonna take that long to get my seats figured out. But in the meantime, at least I don't have that cream color. So guys, that's how you do it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.